Hey guys, Sethley here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In this video, I wanted to cover some of the recently leaked files that came from the Iron Crown event update. Specifically, I wanted to focus on the PvE game mode and the details that were recently updated in the files. If you guys weren't aware, that one mining guy, I'll link him down in the description, was able to find a huge amount of developer data that was left behind when the Iron Crown patch was pushed out. This wasn't really any normal leak because an insane amount of content seized seasons worth was left in the files. Obviously anything in the files could change before it is released, but this is what we know about the content that Respawn has planned for the future of Apex updates. Go check out my other video I just released if you guys haven't already because I covered a ton of new character information from the latest set of leaks, but today I wanted to focus on the PvE game mode leaks because it has been a hot topic for the past couple months or so ever since there has been many signs in the files that a new PvE type mode would be coming in the future. But before we get into the updated information we have, if you're new to the channel, then hit that sub button, turn on that notification bell for daily Apex Legends videos, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. This new PvE information is honestly really interesting, so let's get right into it, starting with a short recap of some of the files that were found before the newest patch. As you guys can see, there are files for a PvE hover tank, a new supply ship particles, a possible new area on the map, and a lot of other stuff. But let's get onto the new PvE details in the files. I'll show on screen right now a set of PvE files that include a breachable door and multiple different objective files that say your squad discovered an objective, another squad discovered an objective, area clear, and objective complete. Honestly, it's not that great of information because there are no specifics, but a different set of files gives us some more intel on the objectives. As you guys can see, it says PvE Goliath hunt one off mission, and the description of this mission includes objectives like kill the Goliath, find energy weapons and ammo to kill the Goliath, evac back to the bar, goliath can only be damaged with energy weapons, care packages include energy weapons and are protected by poachers, and loot the goliath and go home. This set of leaks is much more clear as to what the missions will actually include, but if you were wondering what goliaths actually are, they're a type of creature that has been shown off in this official bloodhound art, but I have no clue what poachers are so we'll just have to wait and see about that one. But next we have some information on the fifth mystery equipment slot, a bandolier, which which is basically an ammo belt. The file describes the item by saying it allows you to stack more of different types of ammo and even grenades. There seems to be eight different types of bandoliers that hold different types of loot, but there is one that says it can stack more launcher ammo. My guess is that a form of launcher will be added into the game with the PvE mode, but I'm not sure if it will be a weapon in normal games as well or just for the PvE mode, it could be either way. But the last of the new information is on a set of weapons that that one mining guy said could be PvE only weapons. I'll show on screen right now. As you guys can see, it lists four new types of weapons, starting with the Pulse Blade, which is a throwing knife with a sonar pulse that exposes enemies through all surfaces. The next one is a gravity mine that sucks enemies in for a short time, then explodes when it is triggered. The third weapon is called the Gravity Star, and it pulls enemies and projectiles in before exploding. Lastly, we have the Tracking Mine, which detonates in a certain proximity and reveals any targets silhouettes. I really don't know what to think about these weapons because I think they all sound awesome, but I just have no idea how they're going to be implemented into the game and how it will change the meta. So make sure to comment down below what you guys think. I'm pretty curious. But that's pretty much all the updated information we have on the PvE mode as of right now. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, then hit that sub button and turn on that notification bell for daily Apex videos. It's the best way to support the channel. But it's been your boy Sethly, and I'm out.